Welcome to Low Key PD. In this video, we're going to explore the Find and Replace feature in the Google Docs Edit menu. So let's say I've got a document and I end up using the same words and phrasing quite a bit. Maybe it's an important topic in the document, uh, but I realize that maybe I spelled something wrong a few times or maybe every time, maybe I just misspelled it every single time that I wrote it. And I don't really want to go through the whole document to find each time that I wrote it uh, and then check to see if it has to be fixed. All right, so this is what find and replace is for. So if I go to the edit menu and I click on find and replace, all right, here I've already entered it in. Let's say I use the, the name Tim a lot, but I want to make sure that it's capitalized every time. Uh, and if it's not, I want to make sure that I replace it with a version of Tim that does have the proper capitalization. All right now because we're dealing with uh, uppercase and lowercase we do want to match the case otherwise it's just going to search for all of them. Uh, and notice that when I type this in, all right, find all instances of Tim where the T is you know lowercase and replace it with Tim where the T is capitalized, notice it will highlight all occurrences of whatever is in the, the find box. And it starts with the first one. Notice that the first one is highlighted in green, but it's kind of a darker green uh, than the other ones. That indicates to me that that's the one it's worried about. Now, maybe I didn't do this all the time and I want to replace these instances of Tim one by one. All right, so the first one, oh, the first one is, all, is, is fine. Uh, the second one that's lowercase, so I want to replace that, and notice it replaces just that instance of it. Now, maybe this happens a lot, and I don't want to go through this looking for every single instance. Then I can go and just click on Replace All, and every single time in this document where the T is not capitalized, it will fix it for me. No matter how many times it occurs, it could be hundreds. Uh, it turns out it's only three more, but it could be many. So if I click on Replace All, it just takes care of all of it for me. And that's how you can utilize Find and Replace uh, to quickly go through documents and fix mistakes or anything else like that. 